Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where the war with Germany and Italy continues. We're well, doing quite well against Germany, um, having just defeated their fleet. It was trying to interfere with the invasion of Cyrenaica, which is going to go off uh, in a month. I've also noticed uh, the Russians somehow managed to get this. I've no idea how they managed to pull that off. Um, AI doing AI things. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> there are allies. We're not to worry about them for now. So, persecuting the war against uh, Italy and Germany, I think, assuming we can take Cyrenaica, the next thing to do would be to try and take Sardinia and potentially try and take Sicily, um, which would help our army, which is... Again, launching a very adventurous attack into Italy, uh, like this one is trying to go into Germany. So I have to see how that go goes. But we have one, two, three, four, five convoy battles to do. Let's go north to south. We have the Ruggiero iron plate. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, uh, have the Lave and the Ile, or I, I would pronounce that Ile, but um, might be the Isli. Who knows? Uh, tell me in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, can you stop that? Thank you. Excellent. Right. There you are. Oh. This is a scout cruiser. Means she can go much faster than the Italians were maybe expecting. There's the convoy. There's the cruiser. Here it is. Well, there were other ships too, right? Yeah. Maybe. Can't tell. Some tops on the Ruggiero widget. Yeah, they do. They do as well. Shit. I didn't think it was that good. And I haven't fired mine. For goodness sake. Why haven't I fired my torps? Maybe it's going too fast. Oh, oh you're a cruiser. Hiding as a transport. <laughs> Basically outrunning it. Okay. More torps going out. Goodness knows where. Wide in the middle of nowhere. I mean, they do have armour, but it's not great quality. On the uh, armoured cruiser here. What is the range on your tour? Yeah, point 
Didn't think I'd gone within 0.9, but okay. Transport's uh, doing pretty well to get away. Don't, don't make the same mistake. Speaking of mistakes, <laughs> Lave, no, <laughs> going through the uh, light cruiser here, pretty much. It's not really what I wanted it to do. I suppose you can't miss from that range. Well, I guess you can try. Speaking of trying, can we try and fire some torpedoes at some point? Is that acceptable? Thank you! Nice shot. Not oh, two of them actually. And... Bye bye! Have a should be able to mop up this stuff. There we go. Good. <clears throat> oh, really? Was the torpedo necessary? <laughs> anyway, I seem to remember there being some transports off in the distance, so uh, I'll deal with them and I'll see you on the post battle results screen. There you go. Transports found and destroyed. Uh, good work, mostly, apart from me. <laughs> uh, otherwise, fine. Right, let's load up the next fight. Alright, next up, we have two cruisers. One is a Truder. <laughs> the other one is a Tricolor. Um, and we found the Polar and the Marco Polo uh, scouting six transports. This should be doable, um, as long as I don't go too close and get myself torpedo for no reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. Wow, the bouncing is powerful today. Powerful bouncing. Here we go.
Where are you? There you are. have Arethusa um, go for the transports while Laparusa or Laparus? Laparus um, goes after the escorts. speculative fire at the moment. Pfft. Okay, sure. I don't think that was really a safe launch in terms of hitting. He fired right as they were turning, which is pretty garbage if you ask me. But there we go. What can you do? Oh, a bit of flooding. More flooding. Four and a half on Polar. Oh, that's going to sink her. I think. Oh, they do have many bulkheads. Maybe not. Also, torpedo a sinking ship. Apparently, that is also a save use. <laughs> okay, some got through, to be fair. Are they going to hit the Marco Polo? Oh, they are, actually. Nasty. Mm, it's all concentrated forward, but I don't... I don't know if those bulk kids are uh, good enough. Oh, don't get too close, don't get too close. Sunk. Lovely. Right. Well, we'll spin around. We'll head for the transports. Yes. Yes. Arethusa should be able to take them out, no problem. And, um... Well, cue the music, I guess.
And there we go. Two armoured cruisers, uh, eight million each, and six transports. Next convoy. There we go. The Tons and the Sirocco against the Delfino and the Valoroso. Same type of cruisers we've seen before. These are not very good. Notice they're only running green crew. Wait, they can't be exactly the same. Hmm, this one has minus one armor quality. Is that a flaw? Armor strength, yeah. So <laughs> not only is it made of iron plate, this one is made of shockingly crap iron plates. <laughs> Just pig iron <laughs> or something. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah, negative one. I don't think I've ever seen a negative armor. That is hilarious. Tonnants. Back from her holidays in the Caribbean. into them if we can Thank you. Oh, yeah one of them though does connect superb it's basically going to cripple the Delfino this is the one with the uh, cheese armour not even, not even uh, Parmesan. This is some sort of soft, <laughs> soft cheese. Tonant bearing down on the enemy cruisers. Well, the Sirocco makes a play for the transports. Oh, nice shot. Main belt pin. More torpedoes, those will miss. Almost certainly. Mm, oh, uh, yes, they do miss. Oh, uh, gun though. <laughs> oh my god, it was an ammo dead as well. 230 millimeter causing problems. So, okay, you're taking fire somehow. Oh, uh, they put guns on them. How very rude. Leave that for the armoured cruiser then. Oh! <laughs> yep, and there they go. And yeah, I won't make you sit. Me, uh, the I can talk. I'll just see you on the post battle results screen. All right, there we go. Um, four transports sunk, two more armored cruisers sent to the bottom. Next, 
Octonauts! <laughs> no, it's not the same ship. It's spelt differently. Um, it's taking on the Roma and the Generoso. Wow, this, these have even worse armor. Look at this, minus six. Bloody hell. <laughs> Are you using cheese at that point? Maybe you're just using, I don't know. God, something milk <laughs> just floats off. Bloody hell. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Only one transport, I think. But two cruisers to eliminate. Game is starting us awfully far apart. I mean, we can try shooting at that range. I mean, I'm impressed that the guns go that far, but um, yeah, we're going to have to get a lot closer in order to get a hit. Oh, going for the transport? Hilarious. actually uh, target a ship we might be able to hit because it's a bit well actually is it bigger it probably isn't but uh, we can start to build a solution on them more importantly now the secondary guns are in range Very nice. I'm uh, taking on quite a lot of water. So you can torpedo it. No. Six anyway. Ah, oh, immediately with a hit on uh, the Generosa, and another. Oof, she's sinking. Yep, there you go. And uh, you don't need me to sit here and uh, take out a transport by itself. I'll see you on the post battle results screen. Alright, there we go. Um, lovely stuff. <laughs> right, what else have we got to destroy? Hmm, this is uh, a little bit bigger. The Algeria. The Algeria. Uh, the Jean de Vin and the Tigre have found, well, a bunch of light cruisers guarding 12 transports. I think after this fight, depending on how it goes, of course. Oh, it's a storm. How disappointing. That basically means we're not going to be able to do it. Uh, fighting in a storm is generally not a good idea. I mean, maybe they'll clear up, but Jesus, the, the juddering. The juddering. Gah. Physics, settle down. Uh, there we go. Need a light cruiser. Just yeah, 
with it being a storm in particular, it's going to make it very, very difficult. like small yeah point nine Squat. swing those torps around thank you Oh, both duds. Boo. Um, yeah, probably one more salvo. Need it on you. off these cruisers. I mean, they're not worthless. Five million a pot. Oh, very nice. Transports. Uh, decent hit. Fluffed. Stop whiffing. <laughs> Get a hit. There you go. Fire some torpedoes into that formation. And we'll get lucky. Well, I'm taking one out. There's another torpedo hit. Which I missed. Sorry about that. Very nice indeed. Cool. Well, Minerva's got to sink now. Or not? Well, a couple of torps on the Emmanuel Filiberto. No. Oh, they were going at the Captain Romani. Well, okay. 
Yeah. Take her out. Got him. <laughs> Unnecessary. Oh. Do I cost that? Taking a big old whack. How's the uh, Tigra doing? It's actually uh, keeping the transports from running away from me, which is quite handy. Oh, torpedoes! Missed. Low progress. Bloody hell. Come on. 100%. A bunch of shells into her. Thank you. You can start making the transports. How dare you? Should be able to finish this off. You'd expect. Yeah, here goes the Emmanuel. Just the Ducha de Aosta. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, that would have hit. Lovely. Right. Once again, especially because this is the middle of a storm, I am not going to show you this. I will see you on the post-battle results screen. Ah, there we go. Ah, right, that took forever to mop up the transports, but done, and so are those light cruisers. Let's have a look at how uh, how old Italy is faring. All right, we are back with it. Uh, politics screen. Uh, okay, Germany still okay. Uh, Italy. <laughs> wow. Okay, they don't have any battleships, so all those armored cruisers we've been taking out. That's actually their main battle line okay so italy is basically crumbling here i think with the next turn we might be able to take cyrenaica let's do it live cross your fingers oh okay <laughs> We'll check in on them in a... Oh, no, there's a battle. Uh, wow, there's a lot of battles. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll do this. I want to check on what happened with Germany. Sometimes the revolution is just the admiral being kicked out and the government being replaced, so you stay democracy or constitutional monarchy, and the party in charge changes, uh, and sometimes it's an actual change in uh, government type. Uh, do do do. Oh, do excuse me. I'm tired. 
all this uh, fighting. There's a couple of destroyers coming to help. No, it's a destroyer and the truder, which to be fair is basically a slow destroyer. But the Isle or Isli, <laughs> whatever it's called, can probably deal with everything. not low on ammunition, is she? No, she's fine. Seems to be going for the transports first, which is a wildly amusing strategy. Wow, that was a long range hit. Seven kilometers out. it took forever because uh, a lot of the shells fired at the transports even if they were going to hit just kind of skip over the top wow that was exploding must have been an ammunition transport or something Surrenders. Should we be able to take out the other one? And then go in and mop up the cruisers. Transports down. These things are an absolute menace. Um, I mean, yeah, they're expensive, but compared to pretty much every cruiser I've seen so far, easily able to take them out. Insane speed, as long as I'm not a total idiot with them, they tend to be fine. Torps. Come on. There must have been a moment there where they were where they were lined up. firing. There we go. Need to straighten up a bit. They're still going to miss, but um, at least they fired. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't miss. Got two hits. Three hits. Damn, okay. Take back everything I said. Lovely shot. Oh, and another one went long <laughs> and hit the Campania. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's 
still exploding away in the back. Real popcorn cruiser. Oh, even as she goes underwater, still turrets popping off. Torps coming from the other side of the destroyer. That was a lot riskier than I realised. Oh my word! <laughs> Campania. No, not. Yeah, it is Campania. You lucky bastard. Oh my word. me out of their misery, I suppose. Um, yes, down they go. Good. No, you don't get to see the politics screen. Um, although Germany has clearly turned into some form of republic, given the colour of the flag. Um, but uh, that's not stopping them from attacking the reserve fleet again. Um... Do you know what? It was such a cluster F last time. Where are they? That way. I'm going to let them kind of come to me a bit. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I'm going to let them come to me. And I'm not... Well, apart from splitting this division. Uh, Cosmo, this is a little bit... It's a bit rich for the uh, light cruisers, I think. Uh, lighter ships. I'm just going to get them to completely withdraw. Right. I really wish I could trust Billikers here to join the other four. I really wish this would work. I don't think it will. Let's try it. Still, that is a cool sight. You can save your ammunition, chaps. Oh, well, or not. <laughs> really quite happy for them to come to me. What happened last time when I <laughs> was just trying to shuffle the division around and just dissolve the division? Ridiculously easy to do that by mistake. Nice. Wow, that is a long range hit nearly 10 kilometers out jeez going right through their main belt another hit as well also a main belt pen jesus i don't think the germans were expecting that Oh, we got one. Amazing. 
Well, picking off uh, cruisers at this range is pretty nice. They do have torpedoes, these things. Reasonably long ranged as well. But being able to hit them, well, more or less double their torpedo range. Pretty handy. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Orion taking multiple hits. Oh, and another one. Time from Longok. Oh, Bavaria, the next one on the list. Yeah, they're almost in torpedo range. It. What are you two doing? Hmm? Genuinely, what the fuck are you two doing? Tonnerre. Devastation. Please withdraw. If you're going to be that stupid. Jesus. Oh yeah, we're just going to wander into the torpedo range for no reason. Look at look look at all the top. Look at Tonair. What did you think you were doing? Hmm? If you are sunk, it is your fault. Not taking any responsibility for that. Ring gear goes down. Yeah, see, look, you took a torpedo, didn't you? That's what you get when you act like a complete wazzock. Oh, ho, ho. hands it getting her casement battery blown up. Taking a lot of hits. In comes the destroyer. Facing a lot of secondary fire here. Yeah, she goes down as well. Right. Oh! Yep, down goes the Hansa. Prince Eugen over here, out of position a bit. A couple of good hits on the Kaiserin Augusta. And sunk. Oh, the Barden. She's the one who escaped last time. Oh, Orion. 
Ah, I must have had an already flooded section. That might finish her off. Very resistant. Fighting. Struggling. Bavaria, meanwhile, also in a lot of trouble. Firing both sides, look at that. Oh, shit. Torpedo. Oh, I think it pre uh, prematurely detonated. now goes down. Come on, Orion. Piss off. Yeah, of course. Have to survive just long enough to fire a torpedo, don't you? Between two left, Prince Eugen and Barden. Barden, the survivor, once more. Getting away this time. Not with that flooding. stuff. I wonder if this was uh, an initiative by whoever the new Admiral is to be like, yeah, I'm going to stamp my authority on things and, and uh, go for it. And then just repeats the exact strategy of his predecessor. Oh, look at this. The dying torpedo shot. Now, oh, Prince Eugen is just sunk. Good. Aside from devastation and, and Tonner behaving extremely poorly... That went fine, I think. Um, Magnum E again, top damage dealer. Sinking, well, a whole bunch of those cruisers. Right, can I see the politics screen now? All right. Here we go. Uh, we've got a bunch of convoys that'll have to wait until next time. Germany, you are, yes, indeed, centre party. Although... 
the nationalists are very strong. I think they're going to have another revolution. Um, their economy not as badly hit as I thought it might be. Have their naval funds gone up? If they've gone up, then the parameter that I'm thinking of does the opposite of what it I thought it did. Um, I have to put in a negative value instead of a positive one. Anyway, um, it's not how it's written. <laughs> it's like this is the penalty to naval funds if revolution. But I think it, when it says penalty, it means it's just a straight a multiplicative modifier. And it there is no negative unless you put the negative in. So I'll have a look at that. Um... Otherwise, how are we doing? Hmm, I think we're doing okay here. I think we are doing okay. Shipyarding capacity is a little on the low side. And these ships in particular require... Uh, is it these ones? Yes, these ones... They're from La Rochelle. They need a little bit of a touch-up. However, the main fleet... Why don't you see what you can do over in Sardinia? I don't think we can launch that immediately. Can we? No. I have to... Well, maybe I have to do a couple of port strikes as well. Now, the Germans do have eight battleships. And I was like, where are they? And the last time I saw them, they were here in Belawan or Patang kind of area. They seem to have moved. Uh, is this them? Yeah, this is them. So they've moved away. That means Sumatra is vulnerable. So I'm going to authorize an invasion. I'm going to send... The fleet from Saigon. And I'm going to send the fleet from Fort Bayard. Because I don't know which one it's going to be. And then they can they can meet up on the other one. Because if we can take cheekily take Sumatra. Then we can start eating the, um, the stuff over here. Because none of it is particularly large, apart from the Solomon Islands. We should be able to take take that stuff. Uh, they do also have some Chinese holdings. But this is more something that I think we should try and get in a peace deal, if we can. Because uh, that's going to be... That, the Laidong Peninsula, in particular, is going to be very tricky. But if we can grab these, these islands before... Well... Of course, that's assuming Germany doesn't just collapse. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.